are you doing? <laughs> Why are you in my house? <laughs> Ryan Murphy's Twisted Anthology series will return for an eighth season in only a few short months. And as you know by now, the show's eighth year will be the first ever explicit crossover season, with characters from the first season, Murder House, and the third, Coven, scaring the shit out of you. Right. Hey everyone, Greg here. Now this video will be a quick refresher for everything you need to know about Murder House and a few characters who may show up from the first season. Now, a warning, of course, there are spoilers ahead for Murder House and a few from Coven. But first, make sure to subscribe to Universe where we got you covered for comic deep dives, TV breakdowns, and movie reviews. Okay, let's take a trip down memory lane and return to the Victorian mansion that started it all. The premise for Murder House was a pretty standard horror affair at first glance. A troubled couple, Ben and Vivian, and their moody teenage daughter, Violet, move into an old Victorian mansion in Los Angeles after Vivian has a miscarriage and Ben has an affair with Hayden, who is one of his students. When they arrive, their neighbor Constance Langdon and her daughter Addie waste no time becoming a frequent presence in their lives, as does her son Tate, who starts to grow a relationship with Violet. Shortly after moving in, the Harmons discovered that several violent murders were committed in their new home, which locals have nicknamed the Murder House. Gem of Midtown, Murder House. The family is immediately targeted by the ghosts that dwell there, but the Harmons try to buck tradition of the typical horror family. The second things go to shit, they put the house up for sale and make concrete plans to leave. Oh baby, this is beautiful. We got a chandelier hanging up here, kids outside playing. It's a beautiful neighborhood. We ain't got nothing to wear. I really love them. This is really nice. Get out! Too bad we can't stay, baby. Unfortunately for them, the mansion had other plans. As the story unfolded, we would discover that the house was the stomping ground for anyone who had the misfortune of dying there. While exploring the attic, Vivian discovered a latex bondage suit. Later that night, she would be raped by a man wearing it. At the time though, she just believed it was consensual with Ben, but it was actually Tate. This resulted in the rare occurrence of becoming pregnant with twins by different fathers. It was soon revealed that Tate's motive in having sex with Vivian was to conceive a baby for Nora Montgomery, the wife of Charles Montgomery who built the mansion in order to replace the child she lost. Speaking of the Montgomerys, Vivian would soon learn from the Murder House tour that the house was the home to Charles' back alley abortions and that the still living monster in the basement of the house was the doctor's creation, whose son was killed by a patient's vengeful boyfriend, dismembered and resurrected as the monstrous infantata. On Halloween, the one day in which the dead can walk among the living, Violet discovers that Tate is an infamous school shooter who killed a library full of his classmates and set Larry Harvey on fire. Addie is run over by a car and Constance fails to get her body to to the Harmon property in time to imprison her spirit there. Just a few, few more feet. Oh, okay. oh my god. Distraught with Tate's monstrous revelations, Violet accidentally kills herself, something she doesn't realize was successful until weeks later when she discovers she can't leave the house. Vivian is committed into an insane asylum, while Ben is convinced that the second twin was fathered by Luke, a neighborhood security officer. Meanwhile, Constance enlists the help of a medium, Billy Dean Howard, played by Sarah Paulson, to help her talk to Addie. Constance would soon discover that Tate's child with Vivian will become the Antichrist, because duh, this is a horror show. After Ben finally learns of Tate being the rubber man, he has Vivian freed from the asylum. Vivian ends up giving birth to the twins in the mansion with the helpful hand of Ghost Montgomery and crew. Sadly, Vivian and one of the newborn babies die, leaving Ben with the surviving twin. Violet breaks up with Tate after Chad reveals that Tate raped Violet's mother and murdered him and his boyfriend due to their decision not to have a child. Soon after, Ghost Vivian convinces Ben to leave the house immediately for the protection of the baby. But as Ben is leaving the house, he's caught and murdered by Hayden who hangs him to simulate a suicide. Stupid son of a bitch. Can't believe she killed me. Now trapped in the house, the Harmons team up with Moira and the other spirits to forbid other families from moving in by scaring them away. Run. Hayden attempts to take the baby, but Constance, with the help of Ghost Travis, whom Hayden murdered, takes the child instead. She would hide the baby and tell the police that Ben killed himself out of grief of his wife's death and that Violet, whose body was never found by the police, ran off with the surviving child. Three years later, Constance would soon discover that Billy Dean wasn't joking around about the whole Antichrist thing when she finds her grandson Michael has murdered his nanny. Now what am I gonna do with you? 
Damn near all your favorites are coming back for the new season, including Sarah Paulson, Evan Peters, and Kathy Bates. Let's pray Bates gets to yell this again. They'll be joined alongside cult comebacks Adina Porter, Cheyenne Jackson, Billy Eichner, Leslie Grossman, and Billy Lord. Emma Roberts has confirmed that she will be back likely reprising her coven role of Madison Montgomery, despite the fact that the character was killed off twice in season 3. We wouldn't be surprised if this becomes a running gag and Madison is killed and revived multiple times throughout the season. Surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Billy Eichner has also been teasing new additions or a major return to the cast by tweeting an image of the cast at a dinner, placing a ghost emoji over one of the attendees. Hmm, I wonder who it could be. All jokes aside, Bustle.com put together a fun list of who they think is hidden in that photo. The list includes Connie Britton, Dylan McDermott, Angelica Houston, Cher, and Bette Midler because, well... I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. Guys, this is only part one of the video as you can see, and I'll be back with a recap to Coven and how Murphy and the crew might try to connect all the characters in the next video. Be sure to subscribe so you can keep an eye out for that video and keep it tuned to GameSpot Universe.